Well, the John Birch case is probably one of the most horrendous cases that I've ever come out of the Chicago Police Department. Here's the police commander uh, who was in charge of arresting people and bringing them into the jails. And uh, he actually abused those people that were in jail. And uh, that is not what a police commander is supposed to do, or a policeman, period. A policeman, uh, when arrests are made, they're supposed to take people to jail, to lock them up. And once they're locked up and it comes time for them to go to court, well, they should be prosecuted in the courts. The police department is not the judge and jury. So John Burge uh, did a grave disservice to the people under his command, and it put a black eye on the city of Chicago. So we think John Bird ought to be prosecuted for the tragedies and atrocities that he committed on the men that were in his custody. And many of those people that were in his custody were people who had not actually committed a crime. Matter of fact, four people ended up on death row because John Bird actually placed a case on them when they should not have had a case on them. But this police commander took advantage of people by placing an electrical charge on their private parts and tortured them into answering and signing a confession against themselves. And we just think John Burge ought to be brought to justice. The fortunate thing is is, is because uh, former Governor George Ryan actually let those people out of jail. They were on, tw on death row. Some of them had been there for over 15 years. Matter of fact, they wanted been there for 20 years. and. Uh, that person would have gone to their grave not having committed a crime simply because John Burge actually uh, lied on the people that he had in his custody. And uh, because of that, they ended up on death row. Well, I was involved along with other members of the Chicago City Council. And the reason why I got involved is because this was a case that was perpetrated against humanity. And I wanted to see something done, and therefore we started to push uh, to try to get John Bird brought into trial. We went to the U.S. Attorney's Office and we are pursuing it through the Chicago City Council to try to find some avenue by which this man can be brought to trial. He's a criminal and he should not be walking around, he should be in jail. But right now he's laying up in Florida on the fat of the citizens of this city. Well, the people in the community found out about the John Bird's case because there was publicity about it. And as they talk among themselves, rumors just continue to spread. But over the years, uh, people have had uh, cameras where they could uh, actually zero in on uh, information and pass that information on through various sources that the general public would be able to pick it up. What is it? it is important to prosecute birds because we never want this kind of thing to happen in our jails uh, again. We we just don't want these kind of things to happen. So. It's our responsibility to do everything we possibly can do to, to make sure that uh, the police department functions in a manner that is, that is productive and professional services the way they should provide it. And we help them do that. We help them do that by going out and working more in my campaign, helping them to garner the resources that they need to work out here and help out. So it's just doing the right thing. That's why we get involved with these kind of issues. Uh, I believe that government really is of the people, by the people, and for the people. And I think everything that you should do should be people-related. Uh, there's no uh, ex exception when it comes to government being overt and available to everyone. It should be wide open at all times, no discrimination whatsoever, uh, not in services, not in resources. It should be fair and equitable, equitable for everybody. And so what I've tried to do as I come along, as I came along, I've tried to interwove in those ideas where people were being left behind. I've tried to interwove in those ideas with the things that I believe in. And I've stood up to fight for those things that I believe in. Does not mean that I dislike anybody or their philosophy. I just want to do it right and do it my way.